Now, when Eric Pickles takes to the election campaign trail, Q comments about the heavyweights hitting town. But it wasn't just the community secretary in the East Lee constituency today. Liberal Democrat leader Nick Clegg was also on the stump. But would he apologise for the lies of his former colleague Chris Hewn over a speeding offence? Our political correspondent Michael Crick was there asking the question. Hello. 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 So, Nick Clegg came to town today with Mike Thornton his new candidate to replace Chris Hune, the former MP who now faces jail over fiddling his driving points. Hello. But where, of all places, do they go? But the car workshop at the local college. But Mr Clegg repeatedly refused to apologise for the Lib Dem MP who made a speedy exit last week. He hasn't been sentenced yet. It's very important these legal processes are allowed to uh, play out. And I think everybody can see uh, the court case for exactly what it is, which is in many ways a, a private uh, matter which has been played out in, in, in a great deal of... It's not a private matter. This is a criminal offence. Yes, it's you, a criminal offence. If he was your candidate when you were leader, surely you have a duty to the voters of East to say, sorry, he was a wronger, he was a crook. I think Chris Hune, if he want, wishes to apologise, can, of course, do so. He's made it clear he's now pleading uh, guilty. Sentence will be passed uh, on him at some point in the near future. And I don't think it really makes much sense for people to provide a running commentary on that until we know what the sentence is. Until a week ago, Chris Hune was actually an advisory governor at this college. His photo proudly up here. Now, though, it's gone, as if he's been airbrushed from history. Benny Hill, in contrast, is Eastley's favourite son, with both a local street and a plaque near the dairy where he once worked. How do you think he uh, would have treated this by-election that's taking place here in Eastley? Well, I think he'd been very interested. W which party would he have voted for? He would have probably voted for Tories. Waddling through the snow, the Chichilian frame of Eric Pickles with Tory contender Maria Hutchings, whose views on gay marriage and other things suggest she's no Cameroon. Well, she's not about central casting, that is true, but I prefer people that speak their mind. So you agree you know. she's not a Cameroon moderniser? I think she's her own person. And she, that's a she's the wrong thing. person. She, 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 <laughs> you are a very naughty man. I said I think she's her own person. Her that's own a, person. And that's right. a... Labour picked their nominee tomorrow night from a short list which includes someone hoping to become the second comedian to grace this town. It's uh, said it's going to be John O'Farrell, the uh, writer, comedian, Labour activist. Well, I, I know he's, uh, he's around and about and seeking the selection, but I, I'm not privy to who might uh, win. UKIP today chose Diane James from Surrey, hoping she'll get more than the 1.7% their leader once scored in this seat. You're actually aiming to win here? Oh, I mean, like every battle I fight, I aim to win. I aimed to win here 20 years ago. It didn't work then, I accept. Um, no, I mean, so look... So a slight improvement on what happened 20 years ago. Uh, we, we'll, well, I, we'll keep you happy. Well, I did beat Lord Such 20 years ago. I'm very pleased to say it didn't quite come last. And David Cameron's due here soon, too. Guess what? One of his Desert Island discs was Benny Hill's Ernie. Michael Crick, Channel 4 News, Eastleigh.